Hey guys, this is all stream that back with another episode of MLB the show 19 road to the show with our second baseman and uh, We're gonna pick this up right where we left off on the last episode right before the game in Houston right after the all-star break and I can't remember who the second team that we're gonna be playing is on this road trip but we're going to be getting through those two series. So let's get into the games. And here we are in our first game in Houston. And uh, there are two outs and a runner on third. In the, bottom, or in the top of inning number one. And we do have at least a one-third rivalry with Houston. So this should be a strike. And it's an out as we fly out to left. Here we go. And here's our second shot. Uh, we are up by four. So because we're up by four, we don't need to uh, do anything with the timeouts. And we're not going to swing right now. One time, right here. Well, okay. 12-6 curve hits the bottom outside corner of the zone. The second pitch is a little bit outside. The count is one and one. And that one's way outside. The count is two and one. He has thrown nothing but 12-6 curves to me. The count is three and one. And that's going to be a fly out to right. I got everything on that that I could. And here is Christian Vasquez in the bottom of inning number three. Two outs, nobody on. An easy play for out number three. And here we are again. Up by four, runners on first and second with one out. Brand new pitcher. Okay. There we go, he threw that one in the zone. There we go. We'll take his spot at second. No problem. So the count is one and two for Miles Harper. And he lines out to the first baseman. Here is Rico Juarez. Bases loaded. With two outs in the bottom of inning number four, it is tied at four. There we go. They had a big inning, and they had another big inning. We're now down by seven. This will be the first out of the bottom of the sixth inning. Top of inning number seven, we're leading off. We are still down by seven.
probably going to be a two seam. This may be a slider. Wow. Okay. That's two change ups. That is going to be a foul. Looks like a small crowd here at Minute Maid Park. We foul off that change up. It's still 0 and 2. One and two. And that is out number one, caught by the shortstop. And we get another shot here. Uh, we are down by five. Top of inning number eight, two outs, runner on first. First pitch of the last at bat was not a strike, and neither was that. I mean, when it says that it's up and in, that it has to be up and in and a strike, I would think that it would have to, like, actually be like a no doubt strike. But they're just pitching like right on the right on the edge of the zone. There we go, two and two. Three and two, it's full. That is out number three. And we have lost. And here is our second game against the Houston Astros. Uh, we have two outs, a runner on first, and it is scoreless. It's going to be a knuckle curve. I have a feeling. That is a foul. Oh, that was a four seam. Okay. That was actually a strike, too. Here's the 0 1 pitch. And it's 1 and 1 with the knuckle curve. Pickoff is no good. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And that's a swing and a miss on a good fastball. And another bad pickoff attempt. And there's a foul. The only pitch he hasn't thrown is this changeup. Count is two and two. Still two and two on a foul. Hey, 
and we strike out on a high fastball. And here we are again. We are up by two. Runners on first and second with two outs in the top of inning number two. And we got caught by a knuckle curve that dropped into the zone. And now he's going to throw at us. And there's another knuckle curve for strike two. And we strike out. And now it's the top of inning number five. There's nobody out. A runner on first. And it is now tied at four runs apiece. Okay, apparently that's late. So it seems like in order to get good contact on anything that's up there, you have to swing immediately. That works. Okay, nobody out. Runners on first and second. Harper has an 0-2 count, and he's going to strike out for out number one. And here is Greg Bird. He has an 0-2 count, and he strikes out. And here is Russell Wells. Another 0-2 count. There's two outs. And that should be out number three. The first baseman caught it. And there's nobody on, nobody out. Top of inning number seven still tied at four. It is a new pitcher. early so it seems like the time that it takes a pitch 88 miles an hour to get there is uh, significantly longer than 95 longer than I, I would think it would be so and uh, we're down by one. Bottom of the seventh, nobody out. Runner on first. There's one out. And two. And it is now tied. Top of the ninth with one out, nobody on. And another new pitcher for us. Four seam slider and two seam. Okay. I mean, I wish there was a perk to get it like down and in because I can hit those like nothing. There we go, we got a hit. Wow. 
So we're going to have one game left to get five hits. Yep, we're going to stop right there. So they've got two outs to get me in. It's a good hit and run to get me on third. And it is Greg Bird. As long as he does not hit into a double play, we're going to be fine. He can fly out to, you know, to deep center, deep right, deep left. As long as he can get it out of the infield, I've got... Oh, he wants me to steal. What was that about? You guys saw that. They told me to steal home. Greg Bird must have uh, missed the bunt sign. So now there's runners on first and second with one out for Houston. And we get the double play. Extra innings. Here is A.J. Reed, bottom of the 10th. Still tied at five. Nobody on, nobody out. This should be out number one. And we are up with one out. Top of inning number 11. Still tied at five. Wow, that was not even a strike. Those are the ones that really make me mad because it's supposed to be a strike if you have a quarter rivalry or a third rivalry or better. And we are over a third. And we strike out. And we lose. And here we are in our second game against Houston. There's two outs and a runner on second in the top of inning number one. It is scoreless. And that is out number three as the second baseman catches that in shallow right. And we are now down by two with one out. Top of inning number four. Nobody on. There we go. We'll hit that right through the infield. We'll take our single. We need four more in this game. And I'm very, very doubtful. You want me to steal base? Uh, to steal second? It's a 2-0 count. I am gone. And we got it. That is number 20 on the year. That's kind of low compared to what I normally would be doing at this point. It would normally be at least in the 30s, if not the 40s. And they want me to steal third as well. Okay. <laughs> wow. I really thought that first one was a balk.
And we got that one too. Okay. And that was a strike. Uh, the count is two and two. And we scored. Here we are again. Uh, we're up by two. Runners on the corners with nobody out in the top of inning number five. A little bit early on that. Uh, that was a strike. And we pop that up to the second baseman. Okay, we are up by three, top of the seventh. With one out, nobody on. And a ground out to the shortstop gets it the first in time. And, ooh. We are up by two with the bases loaded and two outs. Okay, that's strike one. There's ball one. Okay. And that one is not going to be long enough. That's caught in front of the track for out number three. And here is Jake Marisnake. Bottom of the ninth with one out. Nobody on. They are down by three. And that's a single. Got an 0-2 count. There we go. If we can get a double play here, we've got this. There it is. The game is over. We have won. And here is our third game against Houston. I'm thinking it might be the fourth of this series. It looks like it's probably a day game, and if it is, then this is the last one of the series. And then way early on that slider. Extremely early. And that's an infield single. And here is Greg Bird. They want us to steal second. Okay, we are safe. There we go. 22 stolen bases. And the count is 2 and 1. And they caught me. This will be the first out of inning number 2 in a scoreless game. And we have a boss challenge. Okay, 
Let's hit a single or better. So we're going to call our timeouts. So we get a strike up and in. Okay, we at least got contact, and that is going to be an out as we fly out to right. And here is George Springer, bottom of the fourth, one out, nobody on, and a scoreless game. Bunt down the first baseline, and he's going to take it himself. And here's Damian Huerta leading off the fifth in a scoreless game. And that's out number one. And still scoreless in the top of inning number six with two outs and a runner on first. And that's going to be just foul. We were just a little bit early. 90 mile an hour slider. And another slider. Count is 0 and 2. That's a foul. Still 0 and 2. And that's a strikeout. And we're up by four now in the top of inning number eight with no outs. This is a new pitcher. Four seam slider and curve. That's ball one. Would have been ball two, but instead it's strike two as we foul it off. And strike three would have been a strike either way. And we're up by seven in the top of inning number nine. One out and a runner on first. And that's going to be a single out to left field. Not too bad. And we've got one out, runners on first and second for Bird. He's got a 2-1 count. And that's a double play as I followed what I thought the second baseman was doing. And here is Christian Vasquez to lead off the bottom of the ninth. We are still up by seven. And there's out number one. And we've won. And we have a four game series coming up against Oakland. And uh, ahead of that, we are going to speak to their starting pitcher, Daniel Mengden. We're going to. Okay, so he sent us some banter out of the game. We're going to tell him we're hot off a series win. We're looking to get another one these next few days. 
and he feels confident that won't happen. He is a rival, and we are over a third rival with Oakland. And our manager, Ramon Santiago, our hitting with runners in scoring position has been subpar this season. Let's not be wasting scoring opportunities, and if nobody's on, find a way to get on yourself. Clutch hitting, contact, and drag bunting with a double performance gain. And here we are in Oakland for the first of four games, leading off inning number two, and it is scoreless. And he's got a four-seam changeup, slider, and a two-seam. These should be strikes. It was. It's long. And it's gone. A home run. That is our 14th of the season. 401 feet. 101.8 miles an hour to straightaway center field. That's uh, a long way out in center field. And here we are with our... Uh, Second at bat, top of the third with a runner on first and one out. And we're up by two. That one was a two seam. We were just a little bit late. And that was outside. They're watching our runner. There we go, two and one. That one was a change up, I believe. It's another failed pickoff. Another failed pickoff. I'm just waiting for them to uh, throw, waiting for the pitcher to throw that into the crowd. Shouldn't have swung at that, but I did. The count is two and two. And we strike out. And here is Matt Olson with two outs in the bottom of inning number three. And we are up by three. And we miss that diving attempt. And that is a single. And we're back at the plate. Uh, still up by three. The top of the fifth with one out and nobody on. There's ball one. A little bit inside. Here's the 1 0 pitch. Okay, we held up. Count is 2 and 0. Oh. And that's going to be a hit to right field. And here is Shohei Otani. Okay. The pitcher is a left-hander, so we've got to be careful. Wow. I could have sworn he was moving. Got 
gonna have to go back and take a look at that. I'll put the replay in there. There we go, there's out number three. And John Parker. We are up by four. Okay, that one was a legitimate strike. And that's strike two. We are up by four in the top of the seventh. And we strike out. And it is the top of the ninth with two outs, and we're up by four. The runner on first. Okay, so we swung. We swung at a ball. That's strike two. They've both been out there. Okay, that was inside. Count is one and two. It should be three and oh. And they barely got me. Here is Cesar de la Cruz. We are up by four. There's two outs in the bottom of the ninth. A 3 2 count. Bases loaded. And now they are down by one with the runner on second. And we end up winning. And here we are again against Oakland. I have a 256 average and honestly looking at my teammates, I'm I'm average. So I'm actually a little bit on the higher end of average. Uh, but there is one out in the top of the first. Uh, nobody's scored. Runners on first and second. And that is a foul ball caught by the first baseman for out number two. And here is our second attempt. We're up by two in the top of inning number three. I am leading off. Ball one on a slider outside. So we are not going to swing. That was a slider inside the zone. The count is one and one. And that is another foul ball. And the first baseman's going to catch it again. And we get another shot. We're up by six. Top of inning number four. With two outs. Foul down the third baseline. There's nobody on. And there is strike two as we swing and miss at a low and outside two seam. There's a low and outside changer, uh, change up for ball one. And we swing early. And here is Marwin Gonzalez. Bottom of the fourth runner on first. Nobody out. And an easy double play. Okay, 
And here is Manuel Margot. The center fielder, number seven, and there's out number three in the bottom of the fifth. We are up by seven in the top of inning number six. The runner on first and one out. There's ball one, two seam low and inside. And we're not gonna swing until they get us two strikes now. Um, there's the first. That was a fast ball in the upper inside part of the plate. And there's a two seam uh, right about the lower middle portion. So the count is one and two. I'm kind of doubting that they're going to pitch another strike here. That one could have been called a strike. And here is Bruce Maxwell, runner on first, one out, bottom of inning number six. And we're up by seven. And that will end the inning. Here is Gil Garcia. One out, bottom of the seventh, and nobody on. We're not even going to try to dive. That is a single. And we're up again. We have a seven run lead. Two outs, runners on first and second. And that's going to be a pop fly. The second baseman's got that. And Marwin Gonzalez. They are down by seven in the bottom of the eighth. One out. Runners on second and third. They will score one and the runner advances to third. And here is Steven Piscotti, a runner on third. One out, bottom of the ninth. We're up by four. That'll make it three. And there's two outs. And we have won. And here is the final game in Oakland. We are leading off the second inning of a scoreless game. And that slider, we were late, early, okay. Not too early, but we were early. There's a four seam outside that we swing at for strike two. And that's a fly ball to left field and that's gonna be caught for out number one. And here is Renato Nunez. We have a one run lead. There are runners on first and second with one out. There's one and two.
And here is Franklin Barreto leading off the bottom of the third. We are up by one. And that is out number one. And we still have a one run lead with one out. Top of the fourth. Nobody on and that is high for ball one. There's ball two, of course. And they catch me by a step. And here's our third attempt at the plate. Uh, still up by one, leading off the seventh. And we get a single. We hit that just a little bit short. And uh, here is Greg Bird. He hit a solo home run in the second. There we go. So he struck out. And we stole a base. And here is Oliver Alfaro. No! Oh, thought that was over him. And here is Marwin Gonzalez, bottom of the seventh with two outs, nobody on. We're up by one. Okay, we got this one. That will end the seventh. And we have a runner in scoring position. Drive in a run within the first three pitches. Runners on first and second with one out. There is strike one as we swing and miss on a 12-6 curve. go. It's 0-2. And, so we need to drive a run in here. And we're not going to do it. And we're just not going to drive a run in, period. And we end up winning. And at the end of this episode, uh, looks like we went 5-3 and three on this 8-game road trip. We are 52-46 and 46 on the season. We have an average of 252. We've hit 14 home runs, 44 RBIs. We have an on-base percentage of 272 and a slugging percentage of 422 and we are now going to start taking a look at the standings for the awards and we are second right now in the running for the Golden Glove for the American League second base and our 52 and 46 record puts us in second place in the American League West 11 and a half games behind Oakland and it also puts us uh, one and a half games out of the final wildcard spot 
and the holders of that spot right now are the Cleveland Indians. So for our division, we're not doing great. We're 11 and a half games out, but we are in second place, so that's not too bad. And that does, again, put us uh, just right outside that final wild card spot. It is definitely doable to be in the wild card, and it is doable to be the American League West champion, but that's going to take a little bit more work. So right now, our focus is the wild card. The overall goal of this season will be to win the division. So that's our second focus is the division. Right now, we just want that wild card spot. Once we're in that wild card spot, we'll make that push to overtake Oakland. And that is going to end it for today's episode. I want to thank everybody for watching. My name is Allstream. That hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications.